Friends, I welcome all of you to the first press conference of this go, uh, golden edition of our International Film Festival. Today's film festival opens with a film, Despite the Fog, which has been di uh, directed by the noted Italian filmmaker, Mr. Goran Paskelevich. And we have the director with his entire cast and crew here with us. Indeed, a privilege for us that we are opening the IFI with the entire cast and crew with us here today. This noted film, Despite the Fog, talks about an orphaned refugee's search for a better life, which in fact represents thousands of minor refugees without parental care who are wandering today in Europe. The director, Mr. Paskilevich, is one of Europe's most respected independent directors. He has studied at the Prague School of Cinema. He has more, made more than 30 documentaries and 18 feature films which have been shown and acclaimed at the most prestigious international film festivals, including Cannes, Berlin, Venice, Toronto, among others. He has been awarded with several awards, and we are indeed grateful that he is here with us today. May I now request the director to say a few words and also introduce his cast and crew to my media colleagues here. Over to you, Graham. Yeah, okay. Good morning, everybody. I would like to say that uh, here is a few names. Uh, some of the names are missing, like a pro producer, <laughs> Mariela Lisaki, uh, uh, Gabriele Atore, uh, uh, actor, young actor, Gabriele Donini, and uh, Paolo Triestino. Please. Very famous Italian actor. It's an uh, editor of the film. He is Serbian, and I am Serbian working all over the world. I made even one film in India, Dev Bumi, it was called a uh, few years ago. Uh, and uh, Ali Musa Ali Sakhan is our little star in the movie. So what to say, uh, on the beginning, uh, six years ago, on the 44th festival of Goa, I was the president of the jury, and uh, in the jury was uh, Victor Banerjee, the, the, the famous actor from Bengal, from Cal Cal Calcutta. So we met in this jury and uh, we became friends, and in one moment he said, why you don't come to visit me? in Himalaya. He has his uh, house in Uttarakhand. And slowly uh, we decided to do the film together and we did the film together, which the name was Dev Bumi. I fall in love with India, coming very often. And uh, now I'm really proud that we present the film here in Goa in the 50th uh, uh, jubile uh, Jubilee, how do you say? Chubili, golden one. Uh, I re really, we are proud that uh, the committee of the festival chose between 200 films our film to be opening film. So, to start with, that's that's all. <laughs> the floor is open for questions. Yes. Sorry? Ah, yeah, okay. But uh, he, the gentleman wants to ask something. My name is Siraj Sayyad. I'm from filmfestivals.com. Uh, the question is that your film is a co-production between so many countries. Yes. And um, uh, you yourself live in two countries, and I, I'm sure you speak many languages. So how did you put together all the production companies and, and the language issues together in your film? But if it's uh, in Europe, we are used to co-produce the films because we are always short with money, you know, in our budget. But basically, this film is produced by Cine Musa and Rai Television in, in Italy. They support 
the independent projects, uh, and uh, that was the base. Then government gave some money. Then uh, Serbian government, because I am directing the film, helped a little bit, and Macedonian because of the the composer of the film. Little by little, we put put it together. The, the budget. It's always the budget problem, you know. But also it's nice to exchange the experiences between us, between different people, because we are all over the world, we are the same family. Film people are the same family, and, and we understand each other immediately, you know, even with hands and <laughs> even if we don't speak the language. But I'm sure you speak yourself many languages. I speak French, yeah, uh, because... And how yes. did you direct your, your main actor, the, the child? With, uh, with what directed, language? Uh? He directed me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it was easy because we had the, the people, uh, the coach uh, on, on the set. Uh, one lady, she, she speaks fluent English and Italian. But uh, for him it wasn't easy because he played the, the refugee uh, boy my God, how he grew up, I, I can't believe. <laughs> he, uh, he, uh, he is born in Italy. Uh, his father is here. The, uh, he emigrates 30 years ago. But he, he's born in Italy. He speaks Italian. And in the movie, he played the boy who is a refugee. He lost his uh, parents. And uh, he is on the road uh, alone. And uh, some uh, one guy, Italian guy, uh, see him on the road and take him home because uh, the boy is sick. And then drama starts because the wife wants to keep him, and all the society is a little bit against the, the, the refugees today in, in, in Europe, and it's, it's the biggest problem uh, in, in, in Europe today, and maybe in the world. Thank you and, very much. Uh, uh, for him, it was very, very hard to play the boy who don't understand what they are talking, and he understood perfectly. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so th that that wasn't uh, easy. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. I think your question has been answered. Uh, I can I can add something more. Uh, why I did it uh, this film? Because I, I already said it's a really a big problem the refugee problem and uh, also I one day asked myself what I gonna do if one night I'm driving car and I, I meet one abandoned kid uh, like that do I have to take him with me or just leave it there like uh, like a street dog and I said normally I will take him with me and that's how I started to develop the story and and when I wrote the first draft. I, I came in Italy because I had the support there because they know my cinema. And we met and that's how the, the all, all films started. Hi. Uh, I know you are a very uh, eminent personality from Prague Film School. Yep. Uh, can you just brief us about for the young filmmakers from India, what is unique about Prague Film School? What is unique? It wasn't yesterday, my school, you know, it was <laughs> 40, maybe more, oh my God, yeah, 50 years ago. At that time, uh, the school was really uh, uh, one of the best, or even I can say the best in Europe, for sure. And uh, what is great in this school, even today, it's a lot of practice. It's a lot of practice there. So the government give the money, so you are sure during four years that you will, in the first year, all the students will do their short film. Uh, so they, they uh, have a studio which support you to do your short films. You are obliged to do it. And uh, what is great in this school also at that time and even today, uh, the active film directors and, and filmmakers are professors. In America, I saw many of professors, they don't making a film anymore, you know, or they don't making a film. But in Prague, it was uh, 
For example, my professor was Elmer Kloss, who won Oscar with his film, who was doing the films during I studied there, Otto Carvavra, some names uh, from, from that period, Miloš Forman, uh, Kundera was the, the professor of literature, great names, you know, so that, that that's, that's was unique in this school. Our little problem here is that we don't have translator from Italian to to English. So, if you if you ask them we something, we have to be very slow and, and careful. <laughs> because my Italian is not very good. Despite the fog, my name is Chaturvedi. I'm BBC from Indore. Then uh, it's a problem for every country. If you see coming from Mexico to USA, then from you in Europe. Everywhere, the films are, people are running here and there. In India, mm -hmm. we are also facing the same problem. So what is the remedy of these problems coming in your films? But uh, my film is a very intimate story. It's not, I, I didn't want it to, uh, many films about <coughs> the refugees are already oh, done. <laughs> and uh, uh, that's a very intimate story. Uh, uh, and it's a story also, uh, what is very important aspect in my film, it's uh, how the people accept or don't accept the, the, the refugees. And mostly in Europe it's a uh, xenophobic atmosphere. So uh, the title of the film, uh, uh, despite the fog, that's a xenophobic fog, uh, metaphorically. It's a metaphor, you know, so... Uh, so I think that my f film speaks more about this problem than just to show that the, we all know that the, the, the refugee comes, most of them are died on, 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 the, on the boats. Uh, but uh, I wanted to e explore how the uh, middle class Italian accept them, yes or no? Mostly no. And the whole atmosphere uh, which is created in Italy is against the, 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 the refugees. And uh, especially with uh, this guy Salvini, who, who was in Italy, uh, in uh, Minister of uh, Interior, uh, it's a po populist and uh, and fascists, as, as she said, you know, we have to be open. But also, Italy is under the pressure of uh, uh, most than the other countries, uh, Italy, Spain, and Greece. And the other country, they are not solid, there is no solidarity in Europe to resolve uh, uh, this problem. And. Uh, also, some Italians forget that 100 years ago they were uh, refugees to France, to, to America, uh, uh, you know. So the, the, what I felt as biggest problem is this. It's no solidarity and, and kind of xenophobia which is very present in Europe. Uh, from the other side, to resolve this problem, the only way is uh, don't create the wars in Syria. Don't do these kind of things. Nobody wants to leave his house if he has the minimum to, to live normally. Uh, why to leave uh, house and, and your friends and your culture? But if uh, if uh, you live in misery, you try to, to, to live better than you have these two kind of uh, emigrants, uh, uh, economical one and political one and political one day escape of the war and these wars are mostly created by the western <laughs> powers yes sir uh, buongiorno uh, 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 sir, uh, <laughs> that's the extent of my italian uh, uh, sir you uh, I have done documentaries as well as feature films. Yes. Uh, how does your approach differ when you make a documentary and uh, does uh, your style of making documentaries uh, influence your feature filmmaking? 
I, I made a documentary when I was young. When I after the school, I started to work for television in Belgrade uh, because I'm from Belgrade. But I have also the French citizenship because I live in France and in Belgrade now. Uh, uh, that's the best school for the young filmmaker to pass through the documentary, uh, doing the docu uh, documentaries first. Now I'm not doing any more documentaries, but uh, when I started uh, my career, I was under the influence of uh, Italian neorealism. That's why I'm so proud that finally I made a film in Italy. And uh, Italian neorealism, as you know, uh, uh, it's a semi-documentary films. Uh, sir, uh, sir, uh, do you th hope that the refugee problems will be over in this Trump era one day? Another question is, you, you told us that you made a film in uh, India, Dev, Dev, uh, Dev Fumi. What yes. kind of a film it was? Whether it was released in your country? Can you How was the response? Please, uh, can you go slowly with me? Because... Uh, my first question was, do you hope that the refugee problems will be over one day in this Trump era? I never will make this film uh, if I don't believe uh, in that, but it's not enough that I believe, you know. It's a really hard, hard problem. I don't see the end of it. Because, you know, also we have the problem of the planet which became more and more warm. So in another 50 years, I'm sure that we will see the migrations to the north because of heat and, and, uh, and, and water. We don't have water uh, less and less. Uh, so it's a lot of problems because I think we are not careful with our planet. We are not, uh, we have to be much more conscious of, of the problems in the future and not just think to survive today. So I hope that this problem will be resolved, but uh, hope is not enough. How was you, that ha you have to do something every day. How was that film Dev Bumi re uh, received in your country? Whether it was released there? Uh, Dev Bumi, uh, what you, kind you of film it was? have you seen the film? No, no. No. Sorry. Dev Bumi was uh, distributed through Amazon Prime. And uh, uh, my knowledge is that, uh, that nearly 10 million people saw the film all over the world. And, uh, and that was my love letter to India, this film. You know. I shot it in Himalaya, in Uttarakhand, with Victor. Very simple story, but very emotional story, uh, with some very, very nice actors. I don't speak Hindu. But <laughs> but all the actors speak, uh, everybody speaks some English here, or better English than me. Maria, uh, would you like to add anything about it? We'll ask Doran to translate. She's the executive producer of the movie, so I thought that I'd give her a chance to say it. Because it is just so. Palace, if you want to translate. Ah, okay. Buongiorno. Me. Piano. Piano. Okay. <laughs> Buongiorno a tutti, eh, per me è stato un onore eh, produrre questo film di Goran Pascalievich, che è un regista che io amavo moltissimo e quando mi è arrivata questa sceneggiatura eh, mi è sembrato un miracolo, perché? perché primo perché c'era Goran che aveva scritto la sceneggiatura e poi perché parlava di un argomento che in Italia è molto sentito. E... Okay. She said, uh that she likes uh, my work and uh, by chance she got the, the screenplay and she loved the screenplay. The Goran. The, the Goran. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's not easy for me to translate about <laughs> me, <laughs> you know. <laughs> E, e quindi il, perché parla appunto di un argomento importante che è appunto del, è un problema di immigrazione è un problema mondiale però in Italia perché she really liked this team uh, uh, in the film that uh, speaks about this uh, biggest problem today in, in Europe and in Italy especially 
e in Italia ultimamente c'è una deriva in Italy, eh, una deriva di destra e quindi il problema dei immigrati è ancora più problematico e, e quindi it's worse and worse in Italy, it's problem, yeah. E quindi significava parlare di un argomento così eh, attuale in modo poetico, perché appunto Goran i suoi film sono poetici. She e liked that my approach wasn't documentary to show how hard the life is of the refugee, but it's a poetic approach. E mi sembrava un approccio giusto per questo argomento. Eh, il problema poi era trovare il protagonista perché il protagonista di questo film è un bambino appunto immigrato che, eh, che, non ha, che ha perso i genitori e eh, was a problem for us to, to find the, the, the right boy for the, the, the main character e che ha perso i genitori nel, nel Mediterraneo che anche questo è un problema molto sentito cioè tante persone che muoiono venendo in Italia uh, ah, è, can, can, è complicato uh, è complicato Paolo uh, a lot of people uh, die in the sea in the Mediterranean uh, sea yes. uh, trying uh, to arrive in Italy or in, uh, or in Grecia or in Spain uh, it, uh, act actually is a uh, Um, a great problem, a dramatic situation, uh, horrible for us. Paolo, it's, uh, sorry, I interrupt you just to... I am an Italian actor. He's <laughs> the actor in the film and he, he is playing priest, Catholic priest in, sì, in, Catholic. In, the, yes, in, the, yes. in the film. E quindi mi sembra giusto che questo film slowly, slowly. mi sembra giusto che questo film stia andando in giro per tanti festival perché in questo modo possiamo esporre un problema uh, a tutti quanti. Uh, she believed that the film will be present in many festivals because uh, it's a not mainstream film, I mean it's not a blockbuster. Uh, uh, so uh, that we would like that Many people watch the film, it's, it's one of the biggest problems today. È, un, è, un, è come un manifesto politico, e questo mi piace molto. In questo film, uh, it's like a kind of a political statement, and that's true. And I was asking myself, do I have a right, as non Italian, to criticize this society? And then I said, why not? Uh, I don't criticize the society, I criticize the growing. Fascism in Italy. E quindi sono felice che questo festival apra con questo film. What? Che questo festival apra con questo film. She is very very happy that this film is chosen to be opening film. And I think you Thank became you. nervous. Thank you. So I want Please to come I watch the film and I then <laughs> yes. Uh, to our young actor Ali Musa Sahran. Ah, yes. How do you feel about uh, participating in this film? He's the uh, most yes. veteran actor in Italy. You go, he was a little boy. How the two generations united together? How do you feel about that? <laughs> Both the person. I don't, I don't I'm happy to. This young boy also. Come si, si senti? Come, si, come ti senti? Ah, come, come, ti, senti come ti sei sentito a fare il film? La a... prima volta sul, sul, sul set. Sì, sì, in italiano. Oh, sì, tu no, in posso parlare in inglese? <ride> mi sono sentito bene perché c'era accanto Goran che mi stava aiutando per, per imparare a fare l'attore e per fare comunque... Un, un bel film che tutti lo possano vedere. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> He said I felt very well because Goran helped me uh, to make uh, this beautiful film. <laughs> so he learned he learned from the other uh, big actors how to promote the film. <laughs> He became my translator uh, ecco, during the uh, in English in Italian. In, in English. In he, uh, he is playing a negative character sì. and he is so sweet boy. <laughs> um, and they became very good friends during the shooting but uh, in, in the movie 
Gabriele play a negative boy who is under the influence of fascism. Yeah. Morning. Uh, I felt very well, and uh, because uh, it was uh, my first uh, film, and uh, behind the scenes, it was uh, very difficult for me. Uh, to be bad uh, with uh, Mohammed because uh, in uh, in uh, in life uh, we are we are friends. <laughs> he told me, Gabriele. He told me, please, I'm playing such a negative character in this film. Please promise, if you do another film in Italy, that you will give me at least a small, very nice character. <laughs> you <laughs> promise <play>. me, <laughs> and I promise him. <laughs> Paolo, you want to add something to it? No, no. It's, uh, we are we are all very very happy to see you, and good luck for uh, this fantastic edition uh, of this festival. Wonderful. Any more questions? <laughs> you haven't added anything, so my media colleagues would like to know your input. Editor. Oh. Hi. Good day. Um, I'm also very honored to be here with the rest of the crew. My first time in India. Um, they are all first time in India. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're a little bit tired because we arrived early this morning. Um, but I really hope that you will enjoy this movie and um, that this will be, like uh, Paolo said, a great addition to this uh, 50th festival um, anniversary. Would you like to? <laughs> Thank you. May I just say one more thing for okay. ending the, the uh, yes, press please. conference? Uh, uh, we regret that uh, Donatella uh, Finocchiaro, uh, she is the main uh, character in the movie. She couldn't come because she is shooting in Sicily another movie. And uh, unfortunately, the, the, the other uh, main character, the, the parents, let's say, who took him in, in the house, he, he is sick. He just had an infarct. He is in hospital, Georgia Tirabasi, but he is okay now. But unfortunately, <coughs> he couldn't come. But they say hello to you. Mm -hmm. So let's go to sleep a little sleep. bit before we go. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you for taking our time. Now the stage has been set for the opening film. So if we do catch it and write good reviews of it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my God. Uh, can we have a photograph of, the, of, ah. of all of you together? Yeah, sure. uh, Some of the media people. Like together. this? Mother, mother, come on. Come on. That's uh, his father and the parents of. Please come here, join on the stage. On the other side.